Part 1 Frame Assembly Included materials A bars B bar C bars D bars F connector L connector F and L hinged connector H connector T connector hinged H connector long T connector and a T and L hinged connector also included E bars three-way 90 degree connectors T connector with latch straight connectors four-way close angle corner connectors four-way angled T connectors four-way angled center connector three-way wide angled connectors and ceiling straps and now lay out the parts Once the parts have been laid out, begin connecting the bars to and through the various connectors. Note, for the sake of time, many shots will be sped up, but if need be, please pause the video whenever additional time may be required. With the initial pieces of the door assembled, please move this out of the way temporarily until further notice. Initially, push the D and C bars past the lock pin as far as you can. It will make assembly of the frame easier as will be shown later. At this point, while the pin will pop up to lock the bar in place, push the pin back down and push the bar further in. Here you can see that the D bar is seemingly shorter than the other bars currently not reaching the H connector. However, this is due to pushing the bar in further in the above F connector, thus leaving more room to attach the bars one by one. Likewise, push the C and D bars past the locking point for the time being. Notice how he is aligning both sides for simultaneous insertion. This is important as if you insert one segment at a time, this could lead to skewing of the frame, causing the other side to become difficult to insert, and even potential bending of or damage to the bars. The outer bar is inserted and locked while the inner bars are shorter so they can be inserted one at a time. Now, continue assembling the rest of the frame, inserting the E-bars into the various corner connectors as shown.
Carefully, raise the frame in its current state vertically. Note, you need at least 100 inches of ceiling clearance to raise the frame in this assembly. For lower ceiling clearance, assemble the roof frame after the rest of the frame is in the upright position. Now, lay out the base parts and once again begin connecting the bars to the appropriate connectors. From here, lay out the parts to assemble the other archway for the top of the frame and then begin connecting. With the various E-bars and straight connectors connected together, carefully bring the connected arch to the top of the three extended bars connecting it to the top. Connect the remaining E-bars between the two parts of the frame to make it fully intact. With the overall frame connected, bring the door frame pieces back, connecting them to the main frame. Now, with everything connected, make any last movements with the frame to make sure it is in the best possible orientation. For the final step of the frame's assembly, begin securing the four roof support straps across the bars as shown, two straps long ways and two straps across. This completes the SPB66 frame assembly. In part 2, we will show you how to assemble the sound absorption and sound blocking panels.